next guest defends his LFA bantamweight title coming up here on March 23rd at LFA 36. He's going to be taking on Vinicius Zani. It is Ricky Simone joining me here on the program yet again. Ricky, how are you? I'm doing great here in Hawaii, enjoying the enjoying uh, the nice sunshine. Not right now, but in, in some hard training. Yeah, it's certainly a lot better than uh, the Pacific Northwest, which is where I know you primarily train. There's probably some rain there now and all that. But uh, how long have you been out in Hawaii for? Um, probably like going on three weeks now. I'm actually uh, uh, head back to uh, just like I did last time. That that worked out perfectly. Where I came out here and trained uh, for that Chico Camus fight, and then uh, head heading back towards the end of camp and finishing out with my team. Yeah, and let's talk about that fight. Uh, Chico Camus, you go out there, you get the unanimous, you get the uh, unanimous decision in that fight. Um, you know, how happy were you with your performance in that matchup, especially capturing the title? Uh, I was, uh, you know, I was super happy um, getting to go five rounds with with uh, a vet like Chico Camus. I still feel like, you know, I I, I still have more to, more to show in my game, but you know, I'm I, I'm my I'm my biggest critic. But uh, yeah, you know, overall, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I can't I can't be uh, too hard on myself. It was a good win. And what was the feedback like after that win? Because again, you took out a UFC veteran, and you know, you won an LFA title. I mean, that's that looks good on anyone's resume. Yeah, no, a uh, lot of good feedback. A lot of good feedback. Um, just uh, I got back right. I was I was so pumped after that fight. I got right back to training. You know, I uh, obviously uh, took a light, but I was like I was already back in in the in the gym like the next day <laughs> right yeah i know for sure that's always sort of your mentality there um i mean i gotta ask the obvious question has there been any talks with the ufc just because i think people are surprised to see you defending your title and that you're not taking a fight in the ufc right now i'm a little surprised too to be honest uh you know i think it was just, it's just I, I mean i don't know I, I can guess what it could be a million different things i i'm, I'm kind of done playing the guessing game uh is, which is why i took the the, the title defense so, you know i could i could have waited i could have um, you know, sat out a little longer and waited for a call, but you know, I like to be active and, um, I just want to keep proving that's where I belong. So, uh, and like I said, time and time again, like I, I'm kind of done, like playing the guessing game of how, what I need to do to get in. I'm just going to keep doing what works is, which is beating people up. Yeah, and you certainly got a really formidable opponent here. I mentioned his name off the top there, Vinicius Azani. Uh, you know, he's 30 years old, but man, he's had some uh, some fights. Most notably, he fought uh, Thomas Almeida. Um, you know, how do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? Um, he's definitely a dangerous opponent. He's good on his feet. He's good on the ground. Um, yeah, so a well-rounded fighter. But uh, you know, I feel like I match up. I match up well. I, I'm gonna do what I do, and I'm I, well, I with my style, I dictate where the fight where the fight goes. So I'm gonna do that in this fight, just like I did in the last. And you talked about being out in Hawaii. Uh, who are some of your main training partners out there that are uh, helping you get ready for this fight? Yeah, of course. Uh, I come out here to train with uh, Tyson Nam. Uh, he's he's been like my my longtime training partner is my, one of my main training partners since I even turned pro. Uh, and then also they got they got some studs in there, uh, like up and comers, Martin Day, uh, Ian De La Cuesta, and you know they they've been giving me a lot of good rounds out here. That's awesome. And then back home, uh, who would you be training with out there? Uh, you know, back back in uh, Washington. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I still train. My main gym is Gracie Baja Portland. Um, you know, under Fabian Scherner and Ian Loveland. So I got we got a group of up and coming guys out there. Uh, main training partners are, you know, usually Jake Smith, who just had a 57 knockout on the main main card in Bellator. Uh, you know, Carson Fry, Steven Southern, Austin Springer, Jess Moore. We got we got we got a bunch of guys out there too. Yeah, it's a really up and coming gym. It, it's you know, and I know you got Chris uh, Sunshine Williams there as well. I, and by the way, I said uh, Washington, I meant Oregon. My bad for people start flaming right. me in the comments section. But no, I live in Washington, so uh, yeah. no, no, I, li- I live right bridge in washington yeah so yeah we got you know chris williams he, he he's a stud too um I, uh, I get a lot of training with him uh paige van zant she's you know she's been injured as of lately but she's always in the gym no matter what um so yeah we got we you know we we got a lot of guys out there in portland and uh you guys are people are hearing our name more and more and um i, I think we're gonna start getting a little more respect out there yeah, and you know what's it like to you know hear like Chell Sonnen in interviews, you know, give you a plug. I mean, that's kind of neat, and I think people are st- finally starting to, like you said, take notice of your gym. Yeah, that's a little that's a little crazy because I grew up, you know, like watching Chell fight, and then now being like his teammate, and then he's giving me shoutouts and stuff. It's a little surreal, but you know, I appreciate it though. <laughs> For sure, um, I know there's a lot of good food out in Hawaii. Uh, how's the weight cut going ahead of this matchup? Um, you know. Like I said, training for five round fights is hard for the weight cut not to go good. You know, I'm training my ass off, training for five rounds. Um, the way the way the way comes off pretty, a lot easier. Uh, but you know, it, it's it's a little tough. Uh, yeah, I love I love the Hawaiian food, so I, I haven't been I haven't been able to enjoy it too much. 
uh, uh, been meal, meal prepping and, and, and eating healthy. But the way the way it's better than it's ever been so far. So, so doing good. It's good to hear, man. Uh, how do you sort of see this fight unfolding uh, coming up here on March 23rd? Um, I'm do what I do. I'm gonna go in there, push the pace. He's gonna get tired after by the second round, and then I'm gonna take over from there. And I I, I need to get a damn finish. So I'm I'm finishing this fight. Yeah, is there any more pressure? I mean, I guess with the fact that it's five rounds, the chance of a finish is a little bit better. But uh, are you feeling any pressure there just to get a finish? Because a finish would probably get you in the UFC. You know, I, man, I don't know how Chico. I don't know how he kept fighting. That dude is the toughest dude I've ever fought. Like I hit him so many times, so many elbows, cut him open in the first round, and he and he still went five. So, I mean, there's not a lot of added pressure. I feel like it'll come. I'm not going to go out there and and, and force, force it. it. But um, Tyson's leaving without me. Oh, look at uh, that. That's not a very good teammate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, no added, no added pressure. I'm mean, I feel, I feel like, you know, I just, I, I'm after five rounds going, going five rounds with Cheek. I'm, I'm even more comfortable. I'm even, you know, I feel more in my element, and I feel like it, it's going to come. It's bound to happen. You watching any Netflix while uh, you're out there in Hawaii uh, during training camp at all? Anything like kind of keeping you your mind off things? Um, you know, not, not a whole lot of TV right now. Just a lot of training, a lot of relaxing at the beach in between training, but. uh Back at home, I, that's my favorite thing to do. I'm not gonna chill outside in the Pacific Northwest during this time. So yeah, I did a lot of Netflix. I love Black, uh, Black Mirror. I don't know if you nice. ever watched. Yeah, Black of course. Mirror. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Like that. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's been that's been my that's been my show as of late. Well, everyone's got to check out this fight. It's uh, LFA 36 coming up here March 23rd. Uh, Ricky, I always appreciate the time, man. Uh, go enjoy that sunshine and uh, enjoy the training today. Just uh, remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ricky Simone One Thirty Five. I have a group of sponsors. Thank you guys all. Um, uh, I'm gonna do my best to keeping you guys shout, shout outs on social media. Uh, thanks to my teammates out here in Hawaii Elite, teammates back home in Portland. Thank you for having me on the show again.